after Wheels of Fortune announced its latest host of the program, well, trust me, the drama has continued for quite some weeks now and you know um we've we've been giving you updates about what exactly has been happening well it turns out to, do, uh, to be that um vanna white who says that she needs 50 percent of what um you know pat sajik was receiving has suffered a huge backlash well people have taken to social media to react to it while well, some are saying that well you can go pack your things and go for 18 years you serve the company for long, you're too old. Let's enjoy the new, uh, you know, host. But some also are going for her defense. And of course, there's one very vociferous lady who has also aired her opinion, none other than um, Gwendolyn, um, talking about Gwendolyn. Yeah, I hope I've got, I got the name right. Gwendolyn um, Osborne has some amazing words to share. We had to tell you about it. Well, this is Lily Trends of the Next News. This is the Hub for Quality Entertainment. This is, of course, where we tell you the latest from the world of art and entertainment. Go on to YouTube, look for Pinax News. Let's get ourselves updated with the latest from the world of art and entertainment. Well, let's get into the details of the story. So, a video has been circulating on social media. And, of course, as we broke the news to you, Vanna White is demanding 50% cut of what the former co star Pat Sajak was receiving when he was part of the program. Now, reports suggest that Patrick Sajak was apparently receiving 15 million US dollars in a year, whilst, um, you know, um, uh, Vanna White is rumored to have been receiving just 3 million. That's way, not even, uh, you know, um, half payment of what Patrick Sajak has been receiving. Now, the latest or the new host is also rumored to be receiving more than what Vanna White is receiving. Now, social media is apparently divided when it comes to this issue because they say that Vanna White has been there seven uh, eight viewers, uh, which of course sees viewership close to 20 million just in a week. Uh, they say that Vanna White has done well, kept her herself relevant in the industry and also sustaining uh, you know the brand and the Sony brand as well I'm talking about wheels of fortune now adding to the people uh, whether or not in support of what Vanna White has been saying is none other than uh, Gwendolyn Osborne now she has some very interesting words for you to listen to but before then we have actually gotten the video which indicates or shows that indeed these two stars were presented on stage equally so they are treated or they're supposed to be treated equally because how they are being addressed uh, you know or invited or brought on stage looks or sound very interesting because they are being welcomed on stage as these are the stars of our show I'm talking about Patrick Sajak and Vanna White so fans are very skeptical about why uh, you know Vanna White will be receiving 3 million whilst Patrick Sajak will be receiving uh, or was receiving 15 million well they say that it's uh, you know uh, kind of um, segregation over there and disrespect well the gender advocates and whatever have been also ranting with their own chair on uh, of what has been happening but for let's actually get you the video where Patrick Sajak and Vanna White are introduced in the same way but unfortunately the salaries are not the same and gentlemen, here are the stars of our show, Pat Sajak and Anna White. Wow, thank you, Jim. Thanks, everybody. Hi, gang. Mind if I call it gang? Appreciate that. Can I just stay? Yeah, so that was how, or that is how they were actually, uh, you know, presented on stage. It looks very beautiful. So these are the stars of our show. So Patrick Sajak and Vanna White. Meanwhile, um, Gwendolyn Osborne has some very interesting words for the program. Well, let's actually take a listen to what she has been saying. Whether or not she agrees that Vanna White takes half payment of Patrick Sanders, uh, you know, cat. Let's take a listen at Gwendolyn and come back for more. Sam saying I should get at least half of what Pat's making. I'm saying it's about time, okay? <laughs> Vanna White should have been asking this a long time ago. I am so proud of her to be able to be at the place she's at today, to have the confidence to say, you know what, whether it's for me or for the future women in this business, this needs to change. I need more. I deserve more. This woman has been a staple for, what, 43 years yeah. on a show. And look at how beautiful she looks. And look, she's got poise, she's got grace. She has handled herself with class through this whole career on the TV, every time I've told anybody I've had a career on Price is Right on a game show, people always ask me about Vanna White. I mean, that is the number one name around the world. And I'm going to tell you that because I've been around the world, baby. Yes. So I, I, I have a question. Put yourself in Vanna White's shoes for a second. Let's say Sony comes back and says, mm -hmm. the most we're going to give you, Vanna, 
is $4.5 million. That's less than a third of what Pat's making, but you're getting a million and a half more than you got before. We'll give you um, $4.5 She's clearly a rich woman by now. She's done this for so long. If you were Vanna White, would you take that $4.5 million or would you walk? No, nah, man, I would negotiate. <laughs> no, that's a final, no. Uh, Gwendolyn, <laughs> f Gwendolyn, final offer. $4.5 million, that's all we're going to give you. I, I really don't know what, what was she making before this? Three. Three. That's a hard question. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Um, I, I would need a day to think about it. I don't know if I can give you the answer right now. I really don't. Um, is it $4.5 million for a contract of a term? Like. Yeah, say, say it's a five year term. I mean, <laughs> I would, I would say, shoot. And she's how old? How old is Vanna White now? In her, in her early 60s. Yeah. yeah, man, you know, it's the value of life and time. You know, I'm big on wellness, you guys. I'm big on wellness, which you can go find out on my Instagram at it's Gwendolyn or GwendolynOsborne.com. <laughs> if I were her, I would take it for that next five years. But I would continue. She's opened the door. She has opened the door for, um, for it to be a conversation now. And so for me, that is a huge deal. about whether or not Van White should take um, half the percentage of what Patrick Sajak was taking. Well, social media is also divided about whether or not she should take that amount of money. Well, things are not going so well with the Sony, uh, you know, media over there. But let's go to social media for now and see what most of you also have been saying about this. Now, Danny Brown comes to say she's a, she's a part of the show's legacy. She deserves to rise, uh, you know, and shouldn't even uh, have to be going through this lengthy conversation in order to get it. Well, hmm, that's true. Um, this one also says that Vanna is just sealing her fate is the end of an era and i wish her well in her retirement oh indirectly you're trying her to leave the show right <laughs> anyways now susan current comes to say they should be ashamed of themselves vana is just an important uh you know to wheels uh, as part to not give her a raise uh in the number of years is disgusting Alex Borch also comes to say that not to be mean, but I doubt they will give her what she's asking for. She's uh, had a good run, but like pro sports, there comes a time uh, when a younger face replaces an old one. It's what it is. Um, Beverly Guile comes to say that I think they will replace her with someone younger. Hmm. Well, they have a, a new host already. Um, we don't know if she's also going to be stripped off from the program anytime soon as she keeps on demanding this amount. Well, uh, Maria and Camps to see that what's wrong with her and her agent all these years not asking for a raise? Well, in 18 years, I'm sure there have been a few contracts agreed to. Someone was asleep during negotiation. <laughs> Well, you, 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 I mean, you get what you negotiate, right? So if you're going in for a job and you seek, you know, what you, or you get me what you negotiated, well, I don't think there should be a problem with it. So if she negotiated three million, well, as time goes, and I think she should get some increment, right? Or you don't agree with me. Anyways, this has been Daily Change Helping Axe News. Thanks for watching.